Hello world, Leo here, and today we'll be discussing how to use Python to send a telegram message to yourself. In other words, you run a Python function and it automatically sends a telegram message to you, notifying you about whatever you want to notify yourself about. So this can be useful if your script takes some time to run and you want to notify yourself after it finishes. So to do this, we need to take a few different steps. So firstly, we need to create a Telegram bot using Botfather if you haven't already. Secondly, we need to get our Telegram bot token. Thirdly, we need to get our chat ID. And lastly, we write some Python to send ourselves a Telegram message. So first, let's head over to Telegram and find Botfather. So here, you just need to type Botfather in the search bar and you'll be able to see something like this. So Botfather is a built-in Telegram bot that will help users like you and me create custom Telegram bots. So when we send a Telegram message to ourselves, it is actually our Telegram bot that is sending a message to us. So here in Botfather, we are going to type this command. So slash new bot. So and then we hit enter. And Botfather will try to create a new bot for us. So here, we need to choose a name for our bot. So I'm just going to call mine testing, testing, testing. So now I need to choose a username for my bot and it must end in bot. So testing, 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 bot. One, two, three, bot. Okay, finally. So after your bot has been successfully created, you should see this message like this. So next, we need to get our Telegram bot token. And to do that, we go back to Botfather and we look for this thing over here. So this is our Telegram bot token and using this token, we have full control over our bot. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. Token goes to this thing. So one thing to note is that if you do not want your Telegram bot to be controlled by anyone else other than you, please don't post your Telegram bot token online because anyone who has access to this token will have full control over your bot. So for me, I'm just creating a dummy testing bot, so it's fine. So here, steps one and two are done, and we have our Telegram bot token. So next, we are going to get our chat ID. So here, the chat ID will identify the chat between me and my new Telegram bot. So firstly, let's send our Telegram bot a message. So start, hello. So because this is a completely new bot, it just won't respond. So next, I'm going to add this bunch of code here. So here, we import requests, which is an external Python library that allows us to make HTTP requests. So next, we go to this URL, api.telegram.org slash bot. And here, we insert our new Telegram bot token. Then we have a slash and get updates. So let's run this first. So here, this script calls the getUpdates function, which checks for new messages that we send to our Telegram bot. So we can actually find our chat ID from the return JSON file. So here, we look for the chat key, and inside our value, we look for ID. So this ID here is our chat ID. So we copy it and we paste it here. So chat ID is equals to this thing. So now that we have both our Telegram bot token and our chat ID, we can comment this out. Next, let's move on to step 4, sending a Telegram message to ourselves using Python. So similarly, I'm going to import request and let's create a message. This equals to hello from your Telegram bot. And next, I'm going to call the URL to send a message. So here, I have token, chat ID and message. So I'm going to make this capital chat ID. And afterwards, I'm going to do this request dot get URL. So let's have this and let's print r dot JSON. And I'm going to run this. And this is what we'll get. So next, let's check Telegram. And here we have it. We have hello from your Telegram bot. So here I can change my message to something else. Apple, orange, pear. And if I run this again, this will happen. And let's check our Telegram bot right now. And here we have it. We have hello, apple, orange, pear. So once again, you first need your Telegram bot token and you need your chat ID. 
And after you have these two important things, you can use the send message function to send yourself a message on Telegram. So thanks for watching and hopefully this was clear and easy to understand. See you in the next one.